Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's one is a highly requested one. I've been getting asked this quite a lot. Um, so I'm sorry if it took me a long time to do it. I've just had so much other stuff that I'm doing. Um, but this is the how to make your own labels video. So I have some ingredients slash um, storage slash allergen labels that I put on all my postals and people have been asking how I make them. It's really, really simple. So I thought that I would show you how I make them. I also want to do some new designs because I have my ceramics launch this week um, or this weekend. So I wanted to do some more packaging for that. So I wanted to create my own little thank you card. So this goes for the ceramics orders and it also goes for my postals so I did an order on Etsy recently and well it was about two months ago it was back in November and it didn't arrive and it was these card thank you notes and they look very similar to something that you could create on Canva and I kind of decided right they didn't arrive luckily I got my money back but the reviews were awful um, everyone was saying that they didn't get theirs and I was thinking why am I getting someone else to make them when I could make them myself way cheaper so that's what we're going to do. So I'm making these um, allergen slash like ingredient labels. So I'll be showing you how I do those. And I'm also going to be making these little thank you cards. And what else? Um, I wanted to make some stickers which I can just cut out. So it's basically the same as an A4 piece of paper. But imagine that it's one whole sticker. So all you do is cut around what you want to cut around and then that is a sticker because you're cutting it out of one big sticker. So I'm going to order some of those. I haven't ordered them yet but I wanted to get the design sorted first. So we're going to be doing some stickers as well which I thought that I can then just cut around and use as stickers and it's just easy, affordable at home. These labels are like, I don't know, maybe for a hundred I think I paid like under ten pounds so that's what like ten pence a label so they are super cheap and obviously you're going to be making them at home so it's much cheaper than ordering 20 off someone on Etsy sorry to all the people on Etsy because um, obviously this is going to save you some money but it's going to lose them some sales but you know if you can do it yourself at home then why not so I'm going to show you a really easy way to make um, allergen labels, storage labels and ingredient labels all in one and then we're going to go on to the kind of like thank you card kind of thing because I need to work out the sizing of that and then I can help you guys to recreate them um so yeah we're gonna get right into it we're gonna start with the labels that I already have worked up and I am gonna screen record so you'll see everything that I'm seeing on my screen and we can go through it together so I have just started recording so as you'll be able to see these are my labels this is just a set of four so I print them in sets of four that is just because I have sets of four labels on a page but now I've discovered these labels that are just all in one like it's one page and then I would just cut these lines with a guillotine which is like a school kind of um, cutter where it's like a table cutter um, so it's like a giant scissors basically so it helps you get really straight lines and it's just really easy you can measure pages as well so if you wanted exactly you know three centimeters by three centimeter sticker then you can do that so right we're gonna go into mailing is where you go for this and then we're gonna go to labels so I probably should have copied this before did I copy it no that's a postage um, address can I right we're gonna cancel I'm gonna copy this again the logo I put in separately oh no no you're gonna work so we want a new document so the way this works is you insert your text here as you can see mine is in there then full page of the same label so it means that every label on this page is going to be the same if you do single label then um, it will show you different options if you wanted them all different I don't really know how that works because I don't use it um, but we're going to have them all the same and then you click on here there isn't it's not really obvious that you just click on there but you just literally just click anywhere in this logo um, you just click anywhere in this label box and then it will come up with label options so I've selected the last of A6 and it's got to match this dimension so this is for an A4 piece of paper so it's the 21 by 29 some of the others vary in size so this is the one that you want 
and then we want to go to new document and this is what it looks like so then all you would do not that go back so you can then change the layout of it um so if we want to i can't remember how i did this now so there's a point where you have to like click in the right place or is it down here so i think if you do it like that and then you drag there you go so what you do First of all, you would centre your text if you want it centred. I want them all centred. So centre it like that. And then what you do is you click to the end and then you do a few um, enter bars. So like a space bar to get you to the next line. And then what you do is select everything. And then can you see the little black cursor? So you drag that to the bottom and that will be where the bottom of your text is. And then that means that you can click here and there's a little cursor there now and then you can do insert pictures then you can where is my logo this one there you go so then all you need to do is make this as small or big as you need so we want it like that you can then take out any spaces if you need to so I did that then this you want to make it tight is not the one you want to make it Why aren't you working? In line with text? There we go. So, you want it in line with text, and then, like I say, you make it as big as you want, and then that is your label, basically. Um, I feel like that was really, really short for what it was, but I'm hoping that all made sense. Obviously, let me know if I missed anything, but yeah, you literally go to, you need Word. Um, I don't know if it works on any other software. So, Word, Labels, and then you literally type in what you want, and you want to press New Document. If you don't press New Document, then it kind of just doesn't do anything, and it kind of just sits there. So, you want to do New Document. Um, so we're going to do a new document because I want to do some of these little thank you cards but they're going to be a bit smaller so we're going to test out some of the little sizes so what index card I think is like a business card I don't want it that small A4, A3, A6 we want it like A7, but they obviously don't seem to have that. Right, I'm going to have a little look through and then I'll be back. Okay, so um, I wanted them to be a reasonable size. So what I've done is I've used the same template, but it's the other way around. So it means that they are wider. Um, so they're more of a landscape style card. So I'm just going to centre all of these and then we're going to add my logo in, if I can remember where I saved it. Oh, not like that. So again, you have to go like that and then move it down. So we've managed to centre everything. I'm just going to see if I can add a logo in now without messing it up too much. So desktop. Uh, there we go. So we're going to crop this to a circle. There we go. So then you just do crop to shape and we want a circle and then you just make it as small as you need so you can get rid of the spacing oh actually I'm really liking how this is looking so far um, if I could use something so it doesn't look as plain so it's trying to make them all the same, I think. 
I'm just gonna copy these now that I've got them the way I want them there you go so the only thing that I would change is probably the font because I feel like it's a little bit boring um, it's just the is it Calibri it's a bit boring so let's see if there is one that's a bit more exciting um, it looks handwritten even though it's not like I know that they're not they're gonna know that it's not um, handwritten but it just looks that way so it looks a bit nicer so I actually like those so what I would do with these is I would print them on card and then you can just have severed lines I think that you might be able to print with these um, kind of like guidelines but I'm not certain. Um, otherwise, you can find the halfway point by using a guillotine because it will show you where the halfway point is based on the measurements. Um, so it will say like A4 and then you can measure half of that. So it's easy in that sense to work it out. Um, so that's what they would look like, which I mean, I'm happy with. It's just meant to be a basic thank you card. Um, and yeah, I would just cut them up into four and then I can put those in with orders. Um, I've also seen some Cricut stuff that I want to make, um, like little kind of confetti, but made out of card and paper, but you make it yourself on the Cricut. So you just duplicate the same design, whether it's hearts or stars, um, or even just little circles. And then you just cut it out of different colored paper and then it makes your own confetti. So that's really cool. Um, but yes, so that is how you do those. That's how you'd print. So that is the other label. So now that I have kind of got the hang of this, I'm probably going to be making quite a few of these because I need to make a lot of um, like stickers and stuff for my business. You could also, if you don't have a Cricut and you have the time, um, maybe more so if you... I need to... Where am I going? Um... If you have the time, but also maybe you don't have too many orders, because if you have, you know, hundreds of orders, then you're not going to be able to do this. But you could, um, if you don't have a Cricut, then you could print the stickers onto um, that all-in-one photo paper, that all-in-one sticker paper. So you would do it the same as this, where you've got four to a page, or you can make it smaller. I don't know what the setting is, but you can make them half of that. And then you can have little thank you for your orders. And then what you do is cut them out of the sticker paper. So if you didn't want to outsource them or that was too expensive, then you could do it that way. It would just take a little bit longer because you would have to cut them all out yourself. Um, these are a bit different because they're a bit more substantial than a sticker. I am not planning to make my own um, of the just standard thank you stickers. I want to make some more personalised ones which are designed, so I'm going to go on Procreate and try and draw up my own designs, but because they're a bit more personal, I don't want to send them off to get done because I can do it on the Cricut, but if I'm just doing like a thank you sticker, I don't want to do that on the Cricut. Also because of the ink and the um, actual like resources that it uses, it won't be worth it because I can buy those thank you stickers on Amazon for like £7 for a thousand but if you're making something that's personalized then I would definitely recommend using the Cricut because it's really really easy so I'm probably going to do a video on that when I eventually do those stickers I wanted to yeah draw up my own designs and try and make some funky stickers so yes that is that's how you do those labels um it was pretty quick I'm hoping that it was useful um and if you need any more kind of detail on it or you want me to make some others as examples then let me know but like I say you can use it as stickers you can use it as cards so like thank you cards you can use it as care cards I think I'm actually going to make some care cards for cakes and then I can use um, paper for those like thicker paper maybe an in-between of card and paper but I'm going to make some care cards so that whenever I give a cake it's going to have this care guide on it I usually send it is sent by message and it's also on my Instagram and my website and everything 
but I just like to have an extra version just in case people haven't read that. So I wanted to make some little cards to go in with each order. Um, so yes, I will probably be making those at some point. Um, but yeah, these are how I made these little thank you cards. I'm actually well trussed with those because it took me about five minutes and um, they're done. So they're, I just wanted some basic ones, nothing too fancy. So yeah, it's got my Instagram on it. It says thank you for your order and that's about it. Um, so yeah, and they've got my logo on as well, which is good. So that's them done. Um, I'm going to print those off, cut them up. Um, I think they're all even. I've just changed the size of the logo, so I might not be even anymore. Um, but yeah, so that is how I create those stickers. It's an affordable way of doing it. I would definitely recommend it. I'm trying to switch over to it now because it is a lot more affordable. Um, and it's just, I mean, you, it's no different to paying someone to do it. They're not using any crazy fancy software. They're literally just making it on their computer, which if you have a computer, then you can do yourself. So I would definitely recommend making them yourself. I'd also recommend Canva. So Canva, you get a certain amount of downloads free a month. Um, if you wanted to make ones that are more interesting than you can, you can make little leaflet ones, you can choose backgrounds. If I'm honest, I might go on there and try and find just a background to go on that card so that it's not so like plain. Um, maybe even just a border. So we'll see. Um, at the moment, I've at least got the kind of outline of the design. But Canva's really good because it's not sponsored, obviously, because I'm going on about it a bit. Um, but Canva's really good because it is free to a certain extent. Obviously, if you do too many downloads, then um, it's no longer going to be going to be free. You have you get charged after a certain amount of downloads for that month. So until you hit that point it is really good you can make business cards on there so if you wanted to again if you're happy to cut them out yourself and same with the stickers then i would definitely recommend it because it does save a lot of money and i just prefer to do things myself um if i can so yeah i'm really happy with how those turned out considering i did it in literally five minutes so i hope that was helpful and i hope that you can follow that and make your own allergen stickers for postals or even just for your bakes um you can make a tick list if you wanted to so if you wanted to make it for your in-person goods where you have 14 allergens and then you have another where you can write then you could also use this and just cut them in half so you would have eight boxes on there and that would give you eight labels per A4 page, which isn't too bad. And then you would just cut them up and you would be able to stick those onto your bakes. So yeah, that's another option. I think I'm gonna do that once I run out. So yeah, that is the video. I hope it was helpful. And let me know if I missed anything or if there's any more questions on this and I will be happy to help. Message me on Instagram as that's where I'm most like responsive and that's where I see everyone's messages. I don't really check like emails or anything. Um, as often as I check those because that comes up on my phone. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!